Yo, how are we doing everybody? I figured I would do a quick video on Ophelia's Chapter 1 boss. A quick guide to help you guys out. I made one guide video before talking about how to fight this boss with Ophelia at level 1, basically doing a low level challenge. But yeah, this time we're going in here also low level, but we are doing it with uh, four party members. This game has dynamic difficulty, so this is going to be quite a bit harder compared to if you're doing it at a higher level or if you're doing it with just Ophelia. So yeah, I wanted to make sure I could help you guys out that are having quite a bit more trouble with this. Obviously, Ophelia should be the weakest person coming into this fight if you literally just picked her up. So yeah, make sure to keep her HP above like 260 or she will probably die depending on what the boss is going for. Um, I brought uh, Tressa and Cyrus, and uh, Ulbrich is my main character here. So Ulbrich obviously can always use a sword, Cyrus can always use eyes, Tressa can always use wind. Just uh, continuously trying to uh, break the boss here. Because the, the fewer turns the boss takes, the better off we are. Though obviously it is also important to look at the timeline. If you break the boss, at the right like time he's effectively broken for two turns versus he can be broken for only one turn so yeah definitely look out for that yeah you want to use your bp at the right time as well like obviously i'm spinning it all here because the boss is broken and trying to deal as much damage as i can but uh we won't be doing that with ulrich though ulrich will hold on to his charges so that essentially he can always break the boss whenever i need him to be broken and yeah, there we go. He is uh, going into that enraged state right there. But that is why we held on to these charges with Ulbrich. So not even going to be a problem here. And honestly, I have one, two with the other characters. So I only need to hit three with uh, Ulbrich here. And then actually uh, Cyrus gets to take it a turn as well. So we don't even need to do all of that. We need some of this knight here. Yeah, I'll go for the sweep. So I could go to break him with uh, Tressa, but we won't actually do that. Because again, I want to get those two turns of him being broken. So yeah, we'll Ice Wind here, and then bam, that's two turns cancelled out. Feels really good. But yeah, we don't really have a uh, BP to pour into the boss this time. So we'll just do as much damage as we can without spending BP. And build up those charges, because yeah, obviously the more charges we have, more damage we'll be able to do later. Because yeah, if you spin your BP before it's at max, because you can only do up to four, yeah? You don't get to get another charge of BP for that turn. So it can be pretty suboptimal to just spin BP every single time. It's much better to hold on to it and wait for the right chance to strike. So please do keep that in mind. And yeah, I do need to recover some SP. My SP is getting pretty low. But thankfully, we do have items for that. But actually, yeah, let me not use that right away. Just do the damage that I can. If someone's going to restore people's SP, it can definitely be Ulbrich. He is uh, not really doing too much when the boss is broken. I'm not focusing on dealing damage with him. Though, obviously, if you do have a lot of... Um, you have a lot of good weapons for all of your characters, then yeah, obviously Ulbrich can be going in too. But uh, I'm doing a little level challenge, I only have so much money, so I don't actually have good weapons for all of my characters. We want to delay that as much as we can, because uh, what, I, what I mean when I say the trial begins is essentially that is the boss going into its final phase. When it's in that final phase, it will be pretty devastating. Because it will summon three adds that can basically just outright in the battle with the boss. Just outright kill you, kill the entire team. So yeah, we're trying to look out for that. You can always break the boss again, yeah? Yep, there we go, the trial begins. Alright. Yeah, we want to break the boss as soon as we can. Um... I guess I'll just defend here? No, I'll just do the attack. Ah, this is really hard to decide. Y'all get two cancels, so let's go ahead and do that. Just focus on knocking out the boss. Let's go for a Holy Light here. Or, yeah, that's right. I should have just hit the staff. I forgot. That doesn't break. Um, Trade Wind. She has no SP now, though, so I have to look out for that. And then Ice Wind. 
Gober can now break the boss here, so that's really good. And yeah, these ads are going to start counting down. Like, there is a clock literally going down now. If that uh, countdown reaches zero, everybody dies, so... We gotta beat this boss as fast as possible. Um, so yeah, go into the full Holy Light here. And then Cyrus, you go ahead and Ice Wind. He deals more damage than Tressa, I think. Or no, he has higher uh, damage potential. He has higher intelligence or max special attack, or special attack, whatever they call it in this game. So yeah, maybe I should have had Tressa do her attack instead, but she'll get the end spirit and plum there. She'll be able to attack in the future. Yo, running out of turns. Need to see it. Alright, yeah, just do another ice wind. Uh, Ulrich, go ahead and defend here. Or actually, hmm, that won't really change when people are getting things. So yeah, instead, in Spiriting Plum, let's give that to Cyrus. Spiriting Plum, very useful item. Keep him in that uh, SP up. Alright, and then go for a trade wind. Yeah, 80 versus 131. Yeah, Tressa deals more damage than Cyrus. Yeah, she's definitely the one that needs to be focusing on doing that. Oh, that's a painful sweep. Oof, one more turn. I have to knock him out this turn. I don't know that I can. Let's see, if I defend, I can go first, right? But I don't know if I'll be able to break him. So I have to break the boss immediately and then deal as much damage as I can. So I need Ulrich to really open up the boss for me. Alright. Um... Yeah. I feel like this is the best way to do this. If I defend, that moves my turn there, gives me more VP. Yeah, that's the best thing I can do. Not the greatest, but it is the best I can do. So we'll work with that. 354. Yeah, get four attacks in. Help to break the boss. Oh, the boss is dead! There we go. Oh, that was close. That was a really close one. If those ads would have been able to take their turn, that definitely would have been it. But yeah, that'll work out. That is definitely how to do this boss fight. Hopefully that helps you guys out. If you find this video interesting, please let me know in the comments down below. And I will try to make some more guides. Alright, peace.